Okay, so in the the, the the story starts in 1421. In 1421, in November 1421, is the year that uh, 300 sh ships left uh, China in that the, the mouth of from the mouth of the Yangtze River in China, and it sailed uh, down the coast through Thailand, down Vietnam, down into Malaysia, back up across India, and then uh, in, in, across the, across the, uh, 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 the Gulf there, and down into Africa, and around, around uh, the Horn of Africa, South Africa. And so this is basically the journey, and we'll, we'll get a little bit more in, into it. But the 300 ships, uh, this was a great movement. This was a, 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 a country, a, the, the country of the government, the country of China was behind this epic effort. And the guy in charge, uh, the, 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 the king or the emperor uh, uh, in, in charge at that time was uh, uh, Joe, Joe, I hope we get this right, Judy. Um, this is a part of the Ming dynasty, dynasty, and, and he's uh, in a he's a part of a long chain of uh, emperors, and they call this the Ming dynasty. I think it was about four hundred years or so. His you know his father's grandfather's great grandfather and his son you know his brothers and this and that and all that you know and and the thing is passed on down and uh, each one of these dynasties they. They they trying to outdo the other one, and they you know they started the, the Great Wall and a lot of other activities. Now most of activities in China, and still is uh, up to very recently. Well, I could say still is. China is inward was inward bound. In other words, they weren't concerned about the outside world. They built the wall, and they want to keep the Chinese in and the rest of the world out. And this was the this was the ideology ideology up until 1421. Uh, well, maybe a little bit before 1421, 1420 or so, uh, maybe, maybe 1418 or whatever. Uh, and um, but when uh, uh, Ju Di came to power, his idea was to push. China into the, the 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 bigger world, uh, the outer world. Uh, let's trade with the outer world, the bigger world, and so the idea was to build these massive uh, ships. In fact, this massive armada of three hundred ships, uh, and and uh, sail the. Uh, the Chinese flag, show the Chinese flag around the world so other kingdoms could see what they're doing. And also to push trade, although they weren't necessarily in the trade right now. They were trying to uh, do something called armish, armage. And this is a case of setting up uh, uh, constabularies. And we'll, we'll, we'll get into that into the next next session. But it was the whole idea of um, setting up foundation, setting up foundation to find out what the what the bigger world is and how to move things into the larger the larger spaces outside of China, the other kingdoms, the kingdoms outside of China. And this is uh, this was a, a, a radical move as far as China go, because China was always introverted, the wall. Let's keep the barbarians out. Now, Judy is saying, let's go out and meet the barbarians.